go around the horn with that. So we got Thursday night game. We got the Baltimore Ravens at the Miami Dolphins. Dad, who you got? Ravens by ten. It's uh, is it is it in Miami? Miami, yes, yeah, not at Avenue. You know it's gonna be close because it's a a short week. Uh, playing in Miami, but Lamar's going back home to the crib, and you know he likes oh, to yeah. show out. He's from Miami, so I see yeah. the Ravens winning by ten. Yeah, that's right, South Florida boy. What you what, sure. what you have, Mal? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Ravens. Yeah, yeah, give me Baltimore as well. You know they celebrate on the Avenue on Friday morning. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't, yo, they you, you know what's messed up, more. right? You know, this jumps. I was watching the new show Swagger, mm-hmm. and and little Snoop from The Wire came on there, so I yeah. bust out laughing because I was like, "That's what I think about when you say that." <laughs> oh, <the avenue. laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad, bro." I was like, "I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's a." In British like, Creole. Yeah, you know that that's what makes it funny because you don't he's not even saying hybrid. it right. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We got Atlanta and Dallas. Oh, well, in the Arlington football team. Dad, who you got? Say that one more one more time. We got the Falcons at the um Arlington football team. No, yeah, you threw me off when you said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is this is a tough one because the Cowboys after they, you know what? Let me stop. All right, the Cowboys laid an egg last week. I think they bounced back. The Falcons look decent, but I don't think they beat the Cowboys. You know, because I think the Saints with Jameis would have beat them. So uh, I'm going with the Cowboys. Yeah, we got Maui. I do that. My job was talking a lot, a lot of shit, um, and he was being a little, a little bit too disrespectful. <laughs> you know, but I'm gonna pick Arlington. Um, I'm gonna pick the um, Cowboys. Man, I hope the Falcons win. <laughs> Me too. I'm hoping. So I'm serious, much, like. man. I really hope the Falcons win. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> but um, you know, the team in Arlington is gonna take care of business. The home team will win. All right, we got New Orleans at Tennessee. Dad, who you got? Titans by a couple touchdowns. Uh, you know that Trevor Simeon game when they played the Bucks. That you know that's worn off. Uh, it's back to regular Trevor Simeon and the Titans are rolling. All right, Mal, who you got? Titans. Yeah, give me Titans as well. I'm at this point. Um, you, you better call Philip Rivers. <laughs> uh oh, we got Jacksonville at Tennessee. Dad, what you got? I'm not going for it. Not two weeks in a row. We nope. Yeah, they got to show me first. Uh, Colts by ten. All right. Colts. All right. Maui, who you got? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go with the Colts. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Colts too, cause Lord knows if y'all if y'all win in Indianapolis, Urban Meyer ain't coming back to Monday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, nah, he got to ride back with the team. He, those privileges are gone. He can't fly on his own anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bruh said, "Look, after the game, that man said, look, 'Look, I'm flying by myself. I got my Ohio State gear on.' Like." I'm Man. going straight to Columbus, dog. Hey, Urban Meyer, where you going? I'm going to go get some Lou, Will- Lou Williams Lemon Pepper Wings. Crazy. Bro. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> okay. <laughs> People are thinking to themselves, hmm, they say I don't have to fly back. Can I drive to Columbus? <laughs> Let me stop. Right. <laughs> we got Cleveland at New England. All right. Dad, who you got? Come on, Dad. New England. Where's, what's the lo- what's the location for this? It's in New England, right? It's Foxborough, yes. I'm gonna roll with the high hand. I, I you know, I remember my first episode, uh, when my first show doing what y'all when y'all doing the mod drafts. I sat Matt Jones to the past, and everybody y'all hated him. Like the whole network hated him. But I, I just think that was a perfect spot for him. And you know, week by week, yeah. he's getting more comfortable and he's playing better. But you know, Baker without Odell, I don't know what that is, what that's about. But he does play a little better. But I like the way the Pats are headed, the way they're playing defense. I think they give Baker a little trouble. So I like the Pats barely. But I won't be surprised if the Browns win, though. I ain't going to lie to you. We got Maui. We got Maui. Uh, Pats. I'm um, going Pats. You know. Uh, All right. Pats. So I'm the, I'm the lone wolf in this. Give me the Cleveland Browns. I still believe Man, in Baker. Baker yeah, he's going to be the he quarterback. He don't, he don't need OBJ. He got 
Dante Peoples Jones, DPJ. 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 So, you know, and 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 you know, shout out to Zenzel Ward with that uh that pick six last week, you know. Um, so we got Buffalo at the New York Jets. Uh Thad, who you got? Damn. Buffalo by 17. They're mad. They got, you know, I don't know what happened last week, but they laid an egg and they run it up on the Jets easily. All right. Who you got, Maui? Oh, I'm going um Buffalo. Same division, right? Yes, yep. sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna like they they gonna light them up. How I I like Josh Josh um Josh Johnson. And bad, I hate to hate to bring this up, but Josh Johnson last victory was against. I remember uh, that game. I remember yeah. that game. Yes, that was, it was a couple years ago. We were sorry. I don't even want to talk yes, about. Yes, it. it was a cloudy, <laughs> a, a seasonably warm, cloudy day in Jacksonville in December 2018. Game. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, we didn't even have a long snapper. We had a he had to drive to Jacksonville to um, <laughs> to make the trip. We 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 didn't you know we didn't even have our line slap uh, line snapper. So, <clears throat> but give me Buffalo. I think Buffalo is going to take care of business. We got Detroit coming to Pittsburgh. Oh, you got yeah, that? yeah. Pittsburgh is going to continue to keep rolling. We we know what that is. I. Like I said, when I bet against the Jags last week and they did me dirty, and then I picked the Lions when they played the Eagles, thinking they was gonna pull an upset, and they got beat by forty. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Whoever the Lions play, I'm taking the other team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I already know what you got, Maui. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tell you something. I mean, Ben, I hope and I, please be watching me when I tell you this. Don't you go in that damn near and cough up that damn game. You know, I'm telling you, man, Ben be on a take. I don't care nobody say. <laughs> right. Yeah, give yeah, give me Pittsburgh. It's it's another cold day in Detroit uh, for these guys. And to round out our one o'clock spectacular, we have a playoff rematch between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Washington football team. <laughs> can, can we be unanimous? It's unanimous, right? I don't trust you. Tampa. We gonna lose. We gonna lose a Tampa. Yeah, I got Tampa, but, yeah. No, I got Tampa, but Heineke, you know, he might he might show up again, but I don't think it's anything like that playoff game. They might. It's, no, it's no. At, uh, it's at the crib for y'all. Yeah, it's at the crib for us. I mean, home field advantage in at y'all stadium is not the greatest. I don't think, in my opinion, but no. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe the past defense finally shows up. Maybe you know how Chase said he wanted Tom last year. Maybe he shows that he wants Tom this year. Um, no, he 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 don't need no. He, he don't want nobody at this point. We don't want nobody. We just we just want to just lay down and wait for January ninth to be over. <laughs> I mean, at this point, hey, we, we, y'all got yeah. a lot of Heineken got uh, he got Heineken got a lot of um highlights though that yeah, I saw today. But he ain't putting it in the end zone, and that's the problem. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up before you move forward. Yeah. Man, the beginning of this season, we tried to tell you that. And you was oh, no. all poly- uh-uh. I took you was all up here. And <laughs> because we really thought Ryan Fitzpatrick was gonna play, and we figured T- Taylor was gonna probably be on the shelf until next year. And I figured they were gonna evaluate him, but now his evaluation period is now, and he's shown flashes. But now he's just been exposed. I mean, guys know like like we and we talk about it every week. If keep him in that pocket, mm-hmm. the beat Taylor Heineke, keep him in the pocket. We say that every single week. Well, if you get him outside of that pocket, he can mm-hmm. beat you. But other than that, well, but most teams do a great job of just keeping him in the pocket. Keep him in the pocket well, and make him second guess. It's, he's done. Why don't you two way page Cam? <laughs> Well, that's you know they don't they don't they don't want him, right? Who because do? I, they because what's gonna happen is they I don't know because then the, the other option is probably gonna be Cal Allen, and they gonna either gonna ride with those two quarterbacks to the end, and then they they not they stubborn, they stubborn. They rather have Cam Newton's backup plan before he do. I'm just saying. I don't think Cam want to play football anyway. What you think that? Dick, you want to play football? I mean, 
I don't know why he would want to go out like that. Like knowing the type of guy he is and the pride he has, I don't think he wants to go out like that. Like he didn't even get the the his, the last memory we have of Cam Newton is the season last year when he was hurt, you know, mm-hmm. with the COVID and stuff. So I'm pretty sure he wants to play, but you know, Ron Rivera don't play about that. I mean, he did get vaccinated, but I know he wasn't gonna sign him at first because you know Ron Rivera just got done with cancer and stuff. He's not playing with that. The people that's not vaccinated, that's not taking this stuff seriously. So. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I think he wants to play, but I don't think anybody signs him. I know. Right? Did you see the video with him and his father? No, nah, I don't really get into his little vlog stuff. I'm not the biggest. Yeah, fan. I'm, after I'm that, man. Camp, but I'm not watching the vlog. The vlog. I, stuff. We all are from Panda Cam, but but when I watched that, I was like, man, that might be the issue. Because I was just sitting here like, man, it's too much, man. He's worse than Antonio <laughs> Brown. I don't, I don't know if anybody could be worse than AB's little stretch he had when he got cut. Oh, man, you got to watch that vid, then. <laughs> no, I might have to. I might have to tune in. Because I was oh, sitting yeah. here like. The way you're talking about it, you sound like he might have lost his mind a little bit. He's going a little crazy. No, what I'm saying is when Antonio Brown, what he did was he was trying to be flashy and be entertaining. And I've been trying to tell Chris that this dude may not have the – he might say he has the passion to do it, that want to play, but he may not want to play anymore. You know what I mean? Like he was like, man, it's like the first time, man, I can – you know what I'm saying? I can wake up with my kids and eat cereal with them. You know what I'm saying? Because I've always been working. These are the, the things that he was saying. You know what I mean? And I was like, well, maybe he really don't want to play no more, man. And he just scared to, you know, to say that he don't want to play no more. I don't know what it is, but I will say if he doesn't get signed by like the end of this season, it's not looking, it's not mm-hmm. looking good. Well, I don't know. This year it might be well, he might and you think about it, you know how many backup quarterbacks gonna be quarter signing quarterbacks next year? And just just due to the fact of how bad the quarterback market is for the draft. Like you said, if, if you don't get signed, I think if if you don't get signed um going into the twenty twenty two season, then I think he's done. He has so many teams that need quarterbacks. I mean, probably half the league is going to have a different starting quarterback in 2022. Like, I mean, off the, off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe like not half, but maybe about at least about 10, 10, about 12, 13 quarterbacks. And I think so. Yeah. You know, so we got the Carolina Panthers at the Arizona Cardinals. Mm. Um, who you who you got that? You say Carolina Panthers at Arizona? Yeah. Arizona. Sam Darnold just lost his way, his confidence. I don't and I wanted can, to I wanted to believe in him. He, his shoulders hurt, his pride's hurt, his egos hurt, all that. It's just it's, it's looking rough. Uh but yeah, Arizona by a lot. Even if like even if Kyle doesn't play, I like them winning. Correct. Yeah. Uh, who you got, Maui? Um, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Yeah, it don't it don't matter. Cowler, Colt McCoy, Dan Orlovsky, Carson Carson Palmer, Kurt Warner. Give me the give me the Arizona Cardinals. They got a big game coming up the following week. So rest up, Panthers. Get your get your get your licking and get ready to come on back home for Ron's revenge next week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I said, oh boy, that's not nobody. Nobody. I'm sorry, but nobody's ever. You know, since Sam Darnold is going on that little stretch, I don't think anybody's going to tune into that game. But yeah, nobody's going to tune into that one. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the snooze fest. We got Minnesota at the L.A. Chargers. So Kirk Cousins comes to California. You got that? I feel like I've been going with the favor for the most part. I went. I, I'm going to take the Chargers, but I could see. The Vikings pulling this one out. Uh, they they lost a lot of close games. Right. They haven't finished a lot of close games, just like last week being up fourteen on Baltimore. And I and I can see them potentially this one out. But I like Justin Herbert. You know, they, like we said earlier, they've been finding ways to win games these close games this year. So I think they find a way to do it again. But it'll be a nail biter for sure. Yeah. Who you got, Maui? Um, you said the Chargers and the Vikings, right? Yeah. I like the Vikings, man. You know what I mean? I really do, man. But I'm gonna pick mm-hmm. the Chargers. Okay. You know what I mean? I just, just I think Vikings is one of those teams that everybody could say, man, they kind of like like, but they're just not winning. Yeah, and it's weird. 
they they're like it's funny. It feel like it's a role reversal. Like Minnesota had so many heartbreaking losses. All their losses is seven points or fewer. Um, I have a strange feeling Kirk Cousins, the star of all, not the star of all stars, but a, a NFL star, uh, will go to uh, the land of the stars and actually get a get a win. So I'll be the lone wolf in this one. Give me Minnesota okay. for the upset. Uh, we got the fill up Eagles going west to play the Denver Broncos. Who you got that? Got to take the favorite again. You know that the time difference, the three, uh, what is it, two hour time difference in Colorado? Two, two mountain time. Uh, the altitude, you know, some players might not be able to play, the, especially people that are in the best shape. But I just think uh, yeah. Denver's riding a little, you know, high off that great win last week. And, you know, they got Jerry Judy back, even though he didn't make the biggest difference. But just having him back, you know, makes things look a lot better. And I think uh, Denver stays on track and stays in that uh, AFC West playoff hunt. All right, Mel, who you got? Um, Denver. Denver, okay. Yeah, give me the Washington football team of the West. Give me the Broncos. All right, we got uh, the Seattle Seahawks <laughs> at Green Bay. Uh, Russ might be back. But no, he's, he's back. back. He's, he's back, back so he's back. Um, the question mark is going to be Aaron Rodgers. Nope. Um, Aaron Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, On the other yeah. side. On the other side. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, yeah, I didn't know if you were asking me yet. This is a tough oh, yeah, one. Yeah, it, yeah. it all depends on if Aaron Rodgers plays. But I will say this: the Packers, even with Jordan Love, they they look good in my opinion. Like as a team, defensively, Eric Stokes they yeah, hit on yeah. in the corner. Uh, yep. If Aaron Rodgers doesn't play, no, you know what? I'm gonna say this: if Aaron Rodgers doesn't play, Green Bay still wins in a close one. Jordan Love makes a couple more plays than he did last week, and I think that defense will carry them. Like Eric Stokes, even with Jair Alexander being out, he's he's made plays, and he's made me regret us not taking him instead of Tyson Campbell. You know, because so far he looks like the better two out of the Georgia corners. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with the Packers in a close one because I just think they're playing good overall. Because like watching that game versus the Cardinals where they had like ten starters out and they still competed and won the game showed me what mm-hmm. I needed to see. So. Yeah, the defense, defense played very well last week. Um, yep. Special teams let them down, unfortunately. Um, Maui, who you got in this matchup? Um, I got the Packs, the Packers. Okay. Yeah, give me Green Bay as well. Hopefully they will accommodate Jordan Love, his mother, and his girlfriend. Uh, please give him some good seats. Hell, put him on the sideline. That boy might be QB1. We'll find out. The, the science will, will tell us if Aaron Rodgers will play. Um, that's going to be interesting on Saturday to see how that plays out on Saturday. But um, then we got the Sunday night football game. We got uh, Kansas City at Las Vegas. We got that. Sticking with my guys. You know, the last week I said this, the Raiders were going to drop that game with everything going on. It was just an emotional week, and the Giants have been playing solid. But I think that uh, – Kansas City's run two, one, two in a row. They don't look as good as they had last year, but they're finding their stride a little bit. I'm not. I, I don't even want to say their defense is playing better because I don't know how good Jordan Love is, but I think they find a way to get back on track and start, you know, stacking these wins up. And then, you know, when week 13, week 14 comes, they start respecting the Chiefs how they were before. So I, I like Kansas City finding a way to win. But the Raiders are their kryptonite. They they do give them tough games, and they beat them last year. So. I'm going, but I'm going with the uh, I'm going with the Chiefs. I like my homeboy stepping it up. Yeah, who you got, Maui? I, I'm gonna go Raiders for the simple fact of what you said. Um, um, last week was that the Raiders when they get around this this time of year they tend to um start slipping. They start off well and then they start slipping around November. So I'm I'm gonna ride with them. It's just you know with everything they've dealt with. Um this season so far, you know, and they got Deshaun Jackson, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that, um, I mean, this, this, to me, I would take this game as extremely, um, I would take it serious. And, um, you know, if they want to go to the next level, I think this is the game to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause if they beat the chiefs, you know what I'm saying? Even though this is a longer season, that that one, this one game could mean a lot, you know. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go with the Raiders. 
Yeah, um, give me the uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, hashtag free Mike Mayo. All right. Why you say that before we move on? Why you say that? Right. Right. Why? Because he's in a bad situation. I'm like, he's get he's getting a fall for all this. The Arnett situation, the rug situation. Because you think about their first, their their two first round picks of 2020 aren't on the team, and all the other picks on that 2020 you know team aren't even contributing to this to to this team. So to me, that was Gruden pulling all the strings because the way I know Mike Mayock, he, I don't think he, he would have been making these picks and like, and I, I hate to say this out loud. Cause that's the GM. Cleveland, yeah. Cleveland, our boy, Cleveland from Richmond. Don't get, don't get it twisted. But that's another one where I think if a, if Mike Mayock, he might've would have got Cleveland Farrell. He would have probably dropped down to maybe like, 15th or 16th or something in that, in that draft and would have got some draft capital d- down the line. A lot of his picks have been reaches. And I, and I, even though I don't know make Mike mm-hmm. Mack like that, but when from the NFL network and how he does scouting and how he, how he a- a- analyzes players, I trust him more than I trust Todd McShay, even though Todd McShay university of Richmond quarterback and Mel Kiper jr. I trust him over, over both of those. Because he's yeah. generally spot on. If you look at some of the like some of his scout reports that he had, you know, obviously beforehand, you know, as far as when he's in the NFL network and even when he was calling games for Notre Dame on NBC, I like I'd love that move of them being him being a GM, but I like he's not making these moves. Because I I don't from what I from what I see his work, he wouldn't have done the stuff he did. And like you said, and there's no shade to Cleveland, you know, but that's another move I think that I was like, you know, at, at four. Now I can see if he, if they would have dropped down and got him, because they could have got somebody, could have got Cleveland at a lower at a lower at a lower pick and got draft picks um, for years to come. You know, may it may not be first round picks, but like you know maybe some second or thirds, um, kind of you know shuffled throughout maybe a year or two. But yeah, when they when they hired him, they said it was a stretch too. They was like, "Why did the um, Raiders even hire him as a GM when he really didn't have no experience in that?" I remember that too. You know what I mean? They were saying it was just a, I don't know, it's like a like thing. a stretch. Yeah, it was it's, a stretch. It's, it's also. Gruden, yeah, Gruden, because Gruden, because then he got rid of Reggie McKenzie, which I'm just like, I didn't know what you know. That's another thing where just like all of it. Like you look at, he got rid of um, the boy from Buffalo, Khalil Mack, Amari Cooper. Mm-hmm. You know, so a lot of that stuff, like you said, and I, I just think Mike Mayock is a fall guy for stuff that he shouldn't, even, you know, shouldn't even, you know, be be accountable for. I agree, real quick. Moves. Real quick, I want to add something because when you were saying that, it's crazy that you say that because somebody I was talking with about the Mike Mike Mayock thing, I was kind of like. On the opposite end a little bit, just saying because him going from TV to getting a job, which I understand he did a good job on TV, but didn't think he should just be completely thrusted right. in that role, like right. earn it a little bit. But somebody has said that what you said, he's not even the one making the picks. Like John Gruden has the final say on all those dudes. So him taking a fall for that is kind of, you know, right. kind of lame to me, honestly. And right. like it you, you want to get out of there. It is. Right. But because but, I guarantee yeah. you, if he had a scouting report and those guys that, that was picked, I don't think he would have took him. Hey, but shout out to them for taking Cleveland Farrell because we would have never had Josh Allen. So, correct, correct, yeah. yes, yes. And they were supposed to take him. Yeah, and, they, and y'all should have been dancing partners with them because I would have took Cleveland at seven. You know, at that point, I would have got, I would have, I would have, you know, asked for some for some dinner and a couple draft picks and some cash considerations. You know. That I think that would have been a yeah. nice spot for Cleveland at seven if they would have traded yeah. with y'all at seven. Dad, he's Something only like that. saying that because he didn't go to his high school. Just want you to know that. No, so that's, that's fine with me. No, but the, yeah, but <laughs> but yeah, but that's I like to me. I like yeah, but I like yeah. That's that ain't him. That I mean, if he was pulling the strings, I don't think he would have did those moves. Because you look at his Arnett and also just even Arnett and Rooks, regardless of not. Even what they've done, but they've had situations. They were drafted high. Arnett was drafted really, mm-hmm. like supposed to be in the second round pick, 
And, you right. know, you kind of reach for him. He had issues at Ohio State. So it's just like, it's a lot of it. And like you said, because Ruggs was the first wide receiver um, that was um, that was drafted because everybody was putting him with C.D. Lamb and a lot of guys was in, in, in that predicament. But, yeah. So we got the L.A. Rams versus the San Francisco 49ers in Santa Clara. Uh, who you got, Maui, in this matchup? I'm going to go with the um, Rams. All right, L.A. Rams, okay. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, that's going to be um, – yeah, I got the Rams as well. What, what about you, Thad? What you got? I got the Rams. They're just not playing good football. I, I tried to give them a chance, you know, week by week, but once they got beat with, with a backup quarterback at home by, like, yeah. 17 – can't, I can't rock with them in the Rams. Uh, you know, exactly. coming off a bad loss, their guys are going to be ready to play. So I, I like the Rams. Yeah, me too. I got the Rams. Yeah, and they can even be cost wins in the rain. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so let's put a ball in this week's Couch Coach Live, fellas. We'll go around the horn, social media, and promote your upcoming projects. What you got, that? You can follow me and Jelani on what the game means to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we come out with a weekly episode, you know, keeping up with the college football and NFL action, what's going on in the sports world every Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, you know, whichever one works best for us. So, you know, stay tuned with us. And in the future, in the next couple of weeks, I want to start coming out. I, I started talking about my rankings, but I want to start coming out with a, with a top 10 uh, quarterback rankings and power rankings each week for the last – the later part of the season. So, you know, stay tuned for that in the next one or two weeks. But that's about it. And, you know, once again, appreciate you for having me on, Coach. No problem. I always got to have a QB1 of the, of the squad on here. Right, right. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maui, what you got? Uh, Sean Morgan, Facebook, uh, DT Morgan, 78 Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Always a pleasure, Coach. Always, you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Couch Coach Live. Check out the podcast. Anywhere you get your podcast, Apple, Spotify, we're there. Also, uh, let's see, we got what's today? Tuesday, we got um, Watch the Football Gas on Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have um, See You Sunday, um, our Off the Ball Network um, NFL pregame show. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then we have Overreaction Monday on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, yeah, that's the gist of the week. And, um, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. So, definitely, once again, appreciate you, Thad, for coming on our, our QB1 here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, definitely appreciate everybody for checking this out tonight. Great show, fellas. Great show. Great energy. And, yeah, man, we <laughs> – all right, fellas, so we out. We'll catch you guys next week. All right. All right, yeah. You're welcome. All right. <laughs>